Memory is, isn't just remembering you know, specific details. Memory is you know, kind of understanding the, the association between things. Right? I mean, that's, that's, that's how memories are formed, is that they're, they form this associative network, and when you activate one part of the network, you kind of go along in a chain, kind of like when you're daydreaming. A simple way of looking at memory is, is thinking of it as, memorize, as being able to memorize things and, and, and regurgitate the facts. But, you know, there's so much more to it than that. Um, so I think that, um, you know, I think that since people aren't quite as familiar with um, the idea of other people being transactive memory sources, they worry more about the internet because that's more transparent as this external memory than other people are. Um, and so I think that's why it causes so much concern about, you know, what does this mean about, you know, how, you know, intelligent people will be in the future. I mean, what we do know is that people are becoming more and more intelligent. They have to rescale the I, um, IQ test, you know, all the time because, uh, you know, people are doing better and better on them, and so they have to renorm them. So it's not the case that people are becoming dumber. So the first thing we looked at in this research is whether people automatically think about uh, their computers and looking stuff up online when they don't know the answer to things, and what we found is that they do. Um, secondly, we found that people, um, when they don't expect to have access to information later, don't uh, remember it better than when they do expect to have that access. Um, so it does suggest that um, when people think that they can look up stuff online, you know, over and over again, it's continually accessible, then, um, you know, they won't remember it as well. And then we also found that um, people tend to prioritize where to find things over the things themselves, which is adaptive in this case, I think. Um, so when you expect things to be available online, um, the better thing to remember is where to find them. And one hope I would have is that people would, other people would pick up this kind of research um, and, and look at the benefits of, of having this kind of technology, as opposed to worrying about how much um, you know, it's impacting us in a negative way. Because um, that seems to be the majority of the things that I've seen is, you know, that, that people are online, so they're not making friends, and that's actually been shown not to be true. Um, you know, that, that um, you know, not remembering phone numbers means that we're dumber, and, and all these kind of things. And I think, you know, you really need to do the science and see what exactly is happening um, with people's memories or people's social interactions or any, anything else um, to see what's actually true and not just kind of go with your, oh, I don't have an attention span, and so that means that the internet is terrible. You know, like we have to actually look to see what people's attention spans are, you know, before we can say what impact these things are having on us. So I just hope that um, this research is picked up by other people and it becomes, you know, a bigger um, part of psychology.